Okay, I'm making this video to show exactly how I'm recording my Wi-Fi battle, because I keep getting a lot of people asking, even though I made a similar video, but I just feel like making another one, I guess, because I'm doing it a little bit differently this time, anyways. So, first you're going to uh, play the battle on your DS with your flash card. You need a way... We don't actually need a flash card, but you need a way to be able to rip your save file. I know there's a device where you can rip your save file from real games to your computer. You just plug it into your computer, your game plugs into that, and you get your save file. But I'm using a flash card, it's a lot easier. So, yeah, so you're going to um, battle someone on Wi Fi, you're going to save it to the battle recorder or verse recorder, and you can watch it again later while you're not on Wi-Fi, which is something that people don't seem to understand, that you can watch battles you already had while not using Wi-Fi, because emulators don't have Wi-Fi. So you're going to go to import battery, or backup memory, which is basically the battery or the save file. You're going to go to your micro SD uh, card, and you're going to go to your save file, wherever that is on your specific card. Then after you import, you're going to click reset. And you're going to go through this as fast as possible. And now you're going to go to your bag or whatever. <clears throat> and open the verse recorder. Got to click the touch screen a couple of times. And here's the battle. You can press this big giant triangle, which is the play button, to start it. But what I do, I press play and I press the alt key as soon as it goes black. It like freezes the emulator. And then I go to file, record AVI. I usually name it as uh, the uh, whatever number I on. This will be 52, and then the final product will be 52B, which is just after it's edited. So now we're gonna go to TechSmith Screen Capture Codex. That is the best for this. Click OK. It's now recording the battle. And <clears throat> I don't think this battle is too long. I think she pretty much swept me, if I remember. But anyway, I'm just gonna pause this and wait till the battle is over or close to being over and unpause it. Okay, I think the battle is pretty much over right now. I think this is my last guy. If not, then I got one more guy after this, and it pretty much gets getting this getting swept by this rock polish uh, Groudon. So. Yeah, when this is over, then I'll get to the next step. Oh, okay, I got one more guy left. Oh, yeah, this stupid thing. Raped, raped, raped. Oh, why couldn't it have been like instant as soon as you come in and it's raining you instantly wake up? It has to be Oh you gotta wait for the rain turn, the rain call or whatever it's called. I uh, just die anyways. Okay, so that's the end of the battle. While the screen is still black, I'm going to go to Stop AVI, and I'm going to close the emulator. Here's the video. I double click it, it's going to play, and... So yeah, this is the video I just recorded. And now we're going to open up a... Virtual Dub. And in Virtual Dub, we're going to go and just drag and drop this right into the program we're going to go to uh, video filters click add go to resize click OK 
it saves your last settings, but basically you're going to want to make it absolute pixels of 960 by 720 for HD 4x3. If you want widescreen, you will make this uh, 1280. You can actually disable aspect ratio and make it 1280 by 720. That would be a uh, widescreen. But I'm just going to keep it as 4x3, which is 960 by 720. Click OK. Click OK. And now, as you can see, it's gotten a lot bigger, which is will make it HD on YouTube. And now we're going to go to uh, audio. We're going to go to an audio from another file. We're just going to pick a song. Um, I'll just pick this song. Click open, click OK, and you're going to go to frame rate. Click a word change so the uh, video and audio durations match. This will speed up the video or slow it down to be the same length as the audio. So the video will be exactly as long as the music. And we're going to go to convert FPS. We're going to put in 29.998 because that's the FPS on YouTube. So there won't be any problems with it converting at all because it will be the same frame rate so just put it like that click OK and you're pretty much done now oops I didn't want to click that so you're going to go to audio and go to full processing mode to make it a little bit smaller for uploading because sometimes the audio is like really high quality but it doesn't really need to be that quality for YouTube because YouTube makes it brings it down anyways so we're gonna pick uh, 128 uh, kbps for the audio, audio rate and then for video we gotta go to compression again and change it from uncompressed which gives you like a thousand gigabyte files we're gonna go to the text myth screen capture codec again click OK and now we're gonna go to save as AVI and we're gonna name it as whatever you want I'll name it as 52B, click save, and now it's saving the video. Go to highest processing if you want it to get it done as fast as possible. Usually if you have like a slower computer with like only one or two cores, this might help it out because like it will uh, have more priority over other threads on the core. If you don't if you're not really sure what I'm talking about, just just do it anyways. Since I have a quad core, there's more than enough cores for this program to use its own core without having to hog or having to share with other programs. So it doesn't really change the speed at all. But it might change the speed on a slower computer. And it processes pretty darn fast. And now when it's done, it just close the program. Here is our new video. Properties, real quick check it out it is a super small size it's only 10 megabytes and it's an HD video that is insane isn't it and it's all set ready to go to be uploaded to YouTube so I hope this helped you out and uh, yeah so um, this is how I do it it's super easy and yeah I know people want me to narrate again, but narrating just takes too much time. I, I'm just too lazy to do it because I have to actually watch the video and say what's happening. And this is just a lot easier. Uh, you know, I've been really busy lately and stuff, and I'm just, you know, just don't really feel like narrating anymore. This is just super fast. So, anyways, uh, please rate, comment, subscribe, guys, and I'll see you next time.